All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And today we're going to talk about Slow Joe and what he's going to bring into office right off the bat. I'm showing this picture here because this is what people have to do and what they have to put on and wear with oxygen pumped in when they're actually working with virus. So <laughs> that stupid thing you got on your face <laughs> is not doing anything. The filtration holes in that are 30 times larger than a virus. Anyway, that leads into this. Biden wants Americans to wear masks for 100 days. Do they protect against COVID-19 or merely promote healthy behavior? Modeling suggests that near un universal masking could prevent 180,000 C19 deaths. One expert told Market Watch. Okay, well, here's how they're going to make this go away. I've done other videos on the PCR test, so you can check those out if you'd like. But the bottom line is they run cycles on the test, which means they amplify the test, which means they make it larger and larger and larger until they find something. They're currently running 40 cycles to determine a positive diagnosis. So the way they're going to make this go away is they're going to run less cycles. They'll run 10 cycles. They'll run five cycles. And guess what? Everyone's negative and Joe's the hero. Slow Joe is the hero because if only Donald Trump would have mandated 100 days of wearing a mask, this would all be gone. Okay. Moving on to what else Slow Joe wants to do. Slow Joe on day one. Order on transgender rights in sports and bathrooms. Yeah, President-elect Joe Biden vowed to his supporters that on his first day in office, this is his most important thing, he will begin removing any legal recognition of the two sexes <laughs> by adopting pro transgender transgender policies and a slow Joe likes to start off everything let's be clear transgender equality is the civil rights issue of our time there is no room for compromise when it comes to basic human rights and before anybody says you're just transphobic I don't think you know what phobic means phobic having or involving an extreme or irrational fear or aversion to something. I don't have a fear of transgenders. I just don't want them in women's sports. Oh, boy. Let's see here. The Obama-era guidance dismissed the science of two biological sexes by allowing sex discrimination in Title IX. That's women's sports. So there you go, ladies. You better get on the steroid cycle now because you're going to have to compete against men. And here's what Slow Joe said in a town hall. The idea that an 8-year-old child, an 8-year-old, a 10-year-old child decides, you know, I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It'd make my life a lot easier. The future said there should be zero discrimination. So Slow Joe thinks that if you're eight years old, you decide you want to be the other sex. Oh, wait, there are no other sex. It's just whatever you think you are. Well, there you go, ladies. Got to compete against men now. So that, that made me curious. How many transgenders are there? Transgender population in the United States. According to the Williams Institute in 2016, there were approximately 0.6% of adults in the United States identified as transgender. 
So one half of 1% of our population, and they have this enormous power. I don't understand it. All right, let's move on. Biden, to prioritize legal status for millions of immigrants. President-elect Joe Biden's decision to immediately ask Congress to offer legal status to an estimated 11 million people has surprised advocates, given how the issue has long divided Democrats and Republicans. Biden will announce legislation his first day in office. Wow. First he's going to get those transgenders going, and then he's moving on to the legals, I guess, to provide a path to citizenship for millions of immigrants in the United States illegally according to four people briefed on his plans. who wonder who those four people are. Well, the word has gotten out that Slow Joe is going to let you be a citizen. This is on the border of Guatemala, the Hondurans. I want in. They are wanting in, and they are heading this way, and there they go. 9,000 of them heading north. Give Slow Joe a nice reception. Here they come, Joe. <laughs> what else did Joe want? Oh, Slow Joe wants a $15 minimum wage. Raising the minimum wage will reduce the racial wage gap because more people of color will get raises. Their face says it all. I don't think he's thought this through. <laughs> Here's what a real 15 minimum wage looks like. And with that, that's going to do it for this edition of the Aimless News. Subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. Because remember, the Aimless News must be told.